Now that you've connected your bookkeeping to Halon, you must complete five screens in order for Halon to begin preparing your tax return. The first screen is the contact information screen. Here you'll enter your company name, address, EIN or employment identification number, and your telephone number. You'll also choose the business type. Halon can prepare S-corporations, partnerships, and sole proprietor tax returns. In the next screen, the business demographics screen, you must enter several pieces of information that relate to what your company did during the year and when it was started. This includes your uh, incorporation date, if there is one, what type of business you have, and a few different questions related to 1099s, name changes, address changes, and if this is the final tax year or not. The third screen allows you to enter your shareholders or your partners, depending on what kind of business you selected in screen one. You'll enter each shareholder's name, address, their social security number, and some other information that is required for the tax return. If you need to set up a second or third shareholders, you can set up as many as you want really by clicking this add another shareholder link. The fourth screen only applies if you have fixed assets in your bookkeeping. This would mean that these fixed assets are capitalized as fixed assets and not uh, expensed through the profit and loss. If you see assets on this screen, you have to do a few different things. First is you have to categorize them. Uh, you click this drop down and you select what kind of asset it is. Let's say this was a computer or peripheral equipment. You also have to enter what the prior depreciation, section 179, and bonus depreciation was if this asset was purchased in a year previous to the tax year. You can find this information on your prior year tax returns, but don't worry. If you're not sure or you don't have your tax return handy, just enter zeros as I'm going to do, and then we will review last year's tax return and enter all of this for you once we begin the tax return at Halon. As you can see, I've entered all the information required and we can now click save and continue. The fifth and final screen that you have to enter data on or review is the depreciation summary. As you can see, Halon has already calculated what the depreciation is for prior years. It's calculated what the depreciation is for this year. It does all of the work for you. You just have to make sure that you code everything the way that uh, you need to from a a categorization perspective, meaning if it's a car, it's a, you know, tell us it's a car. If it's a office, uh, a piece of office equipment, tell us that it's a piece of office equipment. Once you're through the depreciation summary, now Halon is going to begin uh, showing you information about what the tax return is. So on the next screen here, you're going to see a summary of your uh, tax return. This is showing you what uh, Halon is seeing as the income of the return, all of the expenses and deductions of the return, and what it uh, is showing as your taxable income. It also, in the next screen, shows you a partner summary of what the K-1s of your tax return might look like. If you're a sole proprietor, you wouldn't have this, but if you're a partnership or S-corporation, you would, so it's calculated all of this for you. On the next screen is the state tax screen. If there's anything here, uh, you would need to answer it. In this case, this uh, uh, particular New York return does not require any additional state tax return, so you can click con save and continue through that. And the final screen, before you um, let the CPA tax team review it, is where you can uh, pay for the tax return. You can purchase the tax return right here. Now that you've seen the summary, you're comfortable with uh, moving forward. And what happens here is uh, our CPA team reviews the return, makes sure it is accurate. Your books go through a full bookkeeper review. We look for red flags, anything that could be a problem with the IRS. Once we have completed all of that, we then uh, deploy the returns to you to review. You can set up a meeting with our tax team right here with this orange button and meet with someone live in real time. If you click this button, you'll meet with someone about 20 seconds after that. We've got CPAs and EAs ready to chat with you about your tax return. So if you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to reach out to us through our chat support, this blue button right here. You can also uh, click this blue button down in the bottom right. See how it opens up a live chat screen. 
And uh, if you want to check out self-help before that, you can click this button and open up our, our help center. Uh, but at this point, I think you've got what you need. You can go ahead and get started. You can close this video and begin your tax return. Thanks for checking out Halon, and we hope to serve you soon.